31, Stig of the Dump, published 1963, written by Clive King. What makes a book a classic? Well, this book's been on TV, it's been on the theatre, but does that make it a plot classic? Well, the plot's interesting because it involves around a young lad called Barney who stays with his uh, grandparents. And while he's exploring the area, he falls into this, uh, falls into this den and he discovers this caveman called Stig. Uh, who spends his time rolling around in some rubbish and using it to uh, uh, create his uh, accommodation. And uh, Barney and Stig become friends, and although Stig can't actually speak English, they uh, are unable to become good friends together and have adventures together and such things as being able to get rid of burglars from the grandparents' house. And uh, there's something really special between the two of them. Things change when they start looking at where Stig actually comes from, what his oranges are, and they get transported to another time. Characters include Stig himself, who's a caveman with shaggy hair and uh, bright black eyes. Barney's a friendly, adventur adventuresome young lad. And Louis's sister and his grandparents, who are very supportive, but um, you can really sense the generation gap between the grandparents and the children, which is probably bigger because of the time which is actually written. Some of the themes include um, the importance of communication and how communication can actually occur without language. This whole relationship between fantasy and reality and the importance of uh, friendship. Is it a classic? I think it is. There's a freshness to it and there's a sense of mystery. And while in some respects it's not politically correct at all and uh, the side of, of a boy living in the dump is not something we'd actually expect today in the modern UK and health and safety uh, uh, procedures certainly aren't in place, uh, it's a real fun book and I would recommend it. Thank you.